Merry Christmas or Merry December. Not technically Christmas yet. But it's the winter holiday season time, yay. And also time for the season one finale of My Little Murphy Beyond, at least in airing order and production order, we crossed it with Funga Kamung on Fetacorn. We two holiday episode bands that came up so we could air on the holiday. We had the Halloween episode, now Christmas episode. And book by final we all of the year. Yeah, I yeah, I'm probably gonna sit just being the LP and Mom if you want again not doing too many other on that kind of Well even if I did want to that big of one, I just was too big at that time, so I couldn't really do it. Other ones mostly and I could jungle for jungle but I just didn't feel like it go. I don't know. Beat two shows are probably the main one you're gonna see. But either way and of course after that guy at the the it's a never mind. I think a blog thing. But anyway, anyway, airing or in the finale, Milo Murphy Claw with a Christmas Peril, written by Joshua Pirette and Danny Vetri. Two people who named guys who cannot pronounce. Uh, I, I, I should probably ask them at some point in their own Twitter. Um, and I've talked to that actually once or twice. <laughs> okay, go. Anyway, go in the couple of code, we got our two plots. And basically, Milo is trying to invite extended family over for Christmas, and of course, most of them are on the father's side, so lots of Murphy Law to go around. And, um, meanwhile, oh boy, go to Canada. The Cavendish? What? Dakota Cavendish? Wow. Um, so, there, I didn't need. I, I didn't even know what the football was going to be, because we not ready to skate, so I don't know if I want to skate. But Cap Alone is like the funniest thing ever. But, um, okay, so we'll probably actually begin in the future of their future. They are for 2175, and it began at 2195. And apparently, by this point, the Cavendish, Dakota and Cavendish have basically split up with Dakota, becoming a big pop star with the kit. I can say it, but it's funny. Yeah, with the cameras being big up to the dust, and making cameras wondering what exactly happened, and he then what well, he remembered what happened, you go back in time to fake it to mend their friendship. And I'm not gonna stack all I'm gonna say because, oh boy, this one got. Oh boy, the, um, the couple code in general, I really liked the couple code. Compared to how many episodes, just, yeah, solid good. I think it was really good. Yeah, if not a bit great. Um, in terms of like, they had some problem with how many of them did, where Dakota and Cavendish take up the spot like quite a bit to the point where Fair might well be the main plot, because they have, they have all, they have all the story, humor, and heart, they have everything. Well, my little hang that, but it don't feel lesser. Like, there's a part where it feels like we want like, a little too long without going back to them. But their main plot had more weight to it than the main plot in the Halloween episode. In that it's Murphy Gloss stuff, yes. But it also manages perfectly with the whole Christmas thing of we'll get home for Christmas, you know, and then be stuck at the airport about to stuck at the kind of arm point. You know. And it's not the same family, so we get to see some more character again. You know, get a Tommy card game with some of them, but there's one guy and kid who was convinced in Murphy Gloss gets the generation, he just doesn't believe in all that stuff. And of course, Contrary, and I'm pretty sure he avoided by Pinhead Pierre. <laughs> um, it's kind of like him to me. Um, sorry, good work. And, um, uh, anyway, um, but yeah, the main plot going to work pretty well, even though it doesn't like get like, it could get managed to be kind of plot work for a up code, have some fun Murphy Gloss stuff, um, and some, of course, some pretty. Pretty sweet stuff as well, um, of course. But nothing like crazy, but they'd be able to mix that up, you know, to make it stand out more. And I think we did now. We have going to low air play good stuff in that one, too. Um, as for my, um, we also have Fred Woodward and my Grandpa and someone else. Uh, they don't get a lot to do, but, um, even if it weren't for gag, it, like, we stop as, like, a few go at it. Go. I kind of wish they had a little more of a file, like, so we could develop some more characters more, but they're going to get to, they're going up here again. Um, you know. And I don't know if you can hear family on the mom side, and like, I hope we do. Um, that would be nice. Um, 
Well, yeah, big Pokemon come I have is a couple of that main pot and a few more good come plot. But I don't get the amount of time to play out, and you know, and, and at the end of that, oh, I'm going to plot, man, to give you the warm and fuzzy, which uh, I don't get expecting an awful lot of, but because of the 22 minute can because I guess we assume who knows if we'll be able to get to no run, we got Finn, a Veritable Song in the background, and it's nice, Christmas song. But they have a candle on any of one thing, and that includes both of from the couple of Um, in the Captain General, obviously, they can go the candle, but, you know, they, you know, it's all really good, and they ought to come. And, and yeah, and I like it more than things for my Christmas, which I still like, of course, but I go for more. Um, so, so, yeah. Um, <laughs> uh, as for, it's a joke to quote, um, Kind of like how the grand grandpa talk over each other a lot. Like, you know, um, and also, uh, that one guy comes on to you, a guy who went on about Karen Johnson, he makes a cameo. Um, but he doesn't do that joke well. He visually, I think they just didn't feel like you don't character model for a guy to do him. Um, <laughs> you know. But, yeah, but it's a good joke to come and counter get everything, and I'm not going to spoil anything beyond that get up. I wasn't expecting that going in, but where they go with it ends up being really confusing and hilarious. You know, it's like, and, you know, it's like, and Bobo, it does bring up with one logic problem that it's a spoiler, but it does kind of, almost kind of contradict Isle of Dakota in a way. In fact, the whole episode, we don't really reference it, even though both pressure, the pressure wave, I think that's what it, um, that I'm to a lot to do a minute because of the um, production in it, anyway. Um, and the kept the code, there are like two examples of like, I don't know, I feel like, I don't know. The fact maybe Ken Mitch wouldn't have started that fight if he knew what the code I've been doing for him. <laughs> you know, um, and we do a lot of time traveling and getting in this one. Uh, but, um, you know, and, you know, Vic really proved how good character we two are both in terms of entertainment value and in terms of just a relationship and guys uh, should be a really nice relationship you know and you know, of course it's improved the code of like the good one in the sense that you know is more or less like you know he's a you know he took out play out but but of course in the canary they're both being kind of you know and they both kind of real you know eventually be a boil or they make kick and make up, they don't break up. <laughs> yeah, I'm just spoiled. Um, you know, uh, there's a lot of particularly funny stuff. You know, in terms of how things, you know, escalate. Um, Mark Campbell, as the bot gets to, has some lines that are funny. So, yeah, and again, the ending ended up being really sweet. And actually, did go, aw, yeah, at the end of the go. That good go overall, the cup go, I. I didn't know how much I liked this one. I figured it'd be like the Howie Up Go. I thought, you know, I ain't great, but it's pretty good. No, I really liked this one. It will, you know, like the best of the show Up Go again, but have a current energy and make it quick and funny. But also manage to use some pretty like only string characters and get really absurd a lot of time, but manage to have a sort of a heart to ground it all. To in Dunk Cop, you know, I can call Cup of Go. I can now smile to myself watching it. Of course, it because of my love for me for a bad watch, but very episode every year. But now I can add this one too. I mean, uh, I'll hopefully I'll do time, you know. But I can't. Like, yeah. <laughs> but, um, so yeah, of course, uh, um, and then I might end up watching the episode again before, you know, go on the you know, you know, casual viewing, then I'd watch it for review purposes. Um, Oh yeah, I think yeah, okay, this is my favorite from the King and King one from the King and the show for one more or less. Uh where the rank I don't know, but um if I give give it the great rating then by default it can get number three or so. Um, yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Um uh, but yeah, I'm on the blog I'm doing a post on Bomb Burton Glide. I decided ultimately, even though I have a call written, I wanted to, while I'm not written, I wanted to wait until Wick Up Gun Air and see what would happen. I, I figured at best, and thankfully it doesn't apply too much and stuff I talked about, if anything, you're kind of reinforcing a couple things, and I might just clarify a bit. Um, you know, 
Um, and I figured the, the worst it could do it could end up on my favorite list. But, um, and that quit doing the thing we can't get to that part yet. Go. Oh, there you go. Go. There you go. Uh, yeah, definitely a really good one. Like the how we episode, it does have the problem of um, decoding cameras being a little too much for some people to jump into, but again, I'll go too deep to a fat and the poly thing, you know, the blog I do that, talk about poly code and stuff. And this is one of the kids in the how poly code. Again, after this, I have to watch one for Star Working and people want to see Um, well, that should be fun. Um, because, yeah, I will go, yeah. They're very, really solid, really entertaining. Also, they play the instrumental for Quinter of Start, and I, and the one for Canada Party, at one point. Thankfully, that song not officially is okay with a good episode. Uh, <laughs> uh, the latter one, the Quinter was already good. Um, so yeah, go, very solid Christmas stuff, and definitely sweet. Go, yeah, I hope, well, yeah, go back and get for my uh, Murphy Law for the year until April. Go game it every now, I can read out when you come in. Um, um, so yeah, I guess. I guess, guys, unless for depression, I have hopefully some for depression lying will happen, but unless, well, if nothing does, then you won't give me until at least April, because I know LP starts usually around then. Now, I'm thinking 8 again, and I'm thinking 2, which will be with the Finny for a popcorn thing. That is the turn of thinking 2. So I shall see you all for one of those, or something special before then, hopefully. I don't want to have to wait that long to do another one of these. But either way, that is my number for Gotham Year 1. Definitely been an interesting show to talk about Trigger Vlog, and of course, in the post, I will go further into the show and how it is, and yada yada. Yeah, so, yeah, this is a pretty good, pretty interesting 2017 for the VR because I got to, you know, do more of this mom of VR because I started out last year when the show premiered. Um, you know, and I definitely got to, you know, hear things you know, got weird and slow down in me because I, not, um, I do kind of like doing these, I don't like doing these that much. I used to go, I just do the one I'm obligated to do. So yeah, I shall keep you on that gear for whatever comes about, and um, maybe we'll definitely get to go do cloak out the Twink of TV out for. Go without further ado, I will go have a happy and safe Halloween, Merry Christmas and all that, and I shall see you later.